What makes weigh-ins so scary for fighters? Well, it essentially determines if a fighter makes his full purse or if the fight does actually happen. Historically, fighters have been known for cutting a lot of weight for their belts. However, not always does it go so well. Today, we will go over some of the most controversial weight misses we've seen in the UFC. Charles Oliveira's lightweight run was a thing of absolute beauty. Then, on a 10-fight win streak, it seemed like nothing would really stop Dubronx. Oliveira was a fan favorite and a breath of fresh air for the lightweight division. Finally, an active champion. It was hard for Oliveira to be in a boring fight, and that is maintained true to this day. For his second title defense, Charles would be facing heavy hitter Justin Gaethje. The highlight would be a challenge for Charles. Charles Oliveira would confusingly miss weight by half a pound. That half a pound would strip Oliveira from his belt, and only Gaethje would now be eligible to win. Oliveira informed that the scale was in fact wrong, and the other fighters on the card also complained about a 200 gram discrepancy. I did not do anything wrong. I, it, to me, it was just, it didn't make sense. Um, other fighters started talking about it as well. They were talking about exactly those 200 grams, 300 grams, and it was exactly the difference in the scale of the UFC. Many began to speculate that Arizona's lack of professionalism when it comes to the scales caused this discrepancy. I love Phoenix. It's just that the people that are there don't do high level Big world event. championship yeah. MMA fights on a regular basis. They do a few, mm -hmm. you know, they, we've had a good, good time there. Yeah. They've had some good events there. But uh, they just made a mistake. Several fighters missed weight by solely half a pound. 146 and a half. Ariane Carnelosi did make weight, but thought it was odd she made it at 115 and half. As in the back, it showed her making weight at 115 even. Oliveira was livid about the situation, and despite being given the extra hour, the half pound wouldn't come off. And what makes it all the more controversial was the fact that Gaethje was fighting in his home state of Arizona. Despite all this controversy and the title strip, the fight would go on. Oliveira went on to dismantle Justin in one round, and despite not having the belt, people considered him to be the champ. He proved that the champion did, in fact, have a name. Paulo Costa was undefeated at one point, and many considered him as the biggest threat at middleweight. Costa was an interesting prospect when he was scheduled to fight Adesanya. Following his TKO loss to Stylebender, Costa would have to bounce back against Marvin Vittori. Marvin Vittori wasn't pleased with Costa's sudden desire to make the fight at 195 and then later at 205, claiming he lacked professionalism. The secret juice man would weigh in at 205, and since it was agreed upon, he technically did not miss weight. Despite the fight now being at light heavyweight, it would be an insane fight. It was a very back and forth war, and people were mixed about the results. Costa would lose the fight to cap off a very controversial week. Dana White, after the fight, informed the press Costa would now have to fight at light heavyweight. Yeah, we absolutely tell you where to fight when this happens, yeah. He's, he's gonna have to fight at 205. However, that was not true, as he would face Luke Rockhold at UFC 278 in the middleweight division. Khabib Nurmagomedov always had issues making weight for the lightweight limit, some claiming he's been bailed out before. And we know that he has had weight issues in the past, though none is more controversial than the tiramisu incident. During one of their first attempts, Ferguson claimed that Khabib pulled out because he couldn't make weight because of his tiramisu eating habits. It's tiramisu fucking zoo time, motherfuckers! Initially, Tony was kind about Khabib pulling out, however, that would change. Before weight cutting and eating a tiramisu is never a good look, hence why Tony was mad. Perhaps it was one of the silliest reasons as to why that fight never happened. Now retired, Khabib is enjoying all the tiramisu he can possibly enjoy. 
Cormier's first attempt at the light heavyweight limit saw him miss by above a pound. Miraculously, DC would make weight two minutes later, holding the towel to make weight. Rumble Johnson, his opponent, made weight with ease. Cormier would submit Rumble in round two. Gets the takedowns back. And Cormier has gotten past that magic seven minute mark that he talks so much about. And he takes now Cormier trying to sink in a choke, Bill's on it. He's under the net. Though the towel incident is one that will never be forgotten. Cormier would later admit that he had used the towel to make his weight. That was After the that, they changed towel, right? After they put like a black curtain. Yes, like they a black thing. Like, even hey, but this is the thing, right? You don't see. You hey, don't see. That's not my problem. Oh, they see only legs. Hey. Kamzat Chimaev attempted to do this at UFC 267. This time around, they were quicker to it and made Chimaev re-weigh in. Bors is a notorious big weight cutter, and we have seen him struggle before. However, no controversy was bigger than the one at UFC 279. UFC 279 was already chaotic, as Chimaev and Holland were going at it in the background. Chimaev was initially scheduled to face Nate Diaz for a welterweight bout in what was already considered a mismatch. White would cancel the fight week conference because of a backstage brawl because of Chimaev. Yeah, this ain't gonna happen. I apologize, everybody. I am in very weird waters here. This has never happened in the history of this company. Not only did Shimaev then miss weight by seven and a half pounds, he also flipped off the press and told them that it wasn't that bad. 178 and a half. 178 and a half. To make matters worse, Chimaev was caught eating and drinking before the weight cut. With a new opponent at 180 pounds, Chimaev would be able to settle his beef with Kevin Holland. While Chimaev won the fight easily, he still left a bad impression towards fans. He might tap. It looked like his right hand was breaking his tap. Chimaev seemed to dismiss the weight miss. I don't care about that shit, bro. I killed that guy. Gotta go for everybody. Even when Joe Rogan called him out, Bors claimed the doctors were the ones hindering him from making weight. Yes, so what? Of course I believe. I was supposed to make that weight as well. My doctor stop me. Nobody can stop me. It now remains to be seen if Chimaev goes up to middleweight or stays at 170.